Doctor, please. You, you don't have to do this. But on the contrary, I do, nurse. I took an oath. <sighs> Doctor Pepper! What's up, everybody? Welcome back to GoGo's Create. I'm Coleman. I am here in Emily's apartment. We got Emily chilling out back there. She's just maxing out on the couch, just chilling, maxing, relaxing, all cool. Um, we have been in Fort Worth this weekend having a lovely time with her family. Uh, if you saw the quick hits, that's where those were. Uh, most of them. Some of them, I think, were uh, from kind of before we left. Uh, so, you know, some of them, some of them up in Fort Worth, some of them down here, you know, it gets a little jumbled up. There's a lot of, there's a lot of quick hits to, to be uploaded. Uh, so, uh, yes, and I am here and I am feeling great. Um, if you didn't see the quick hit, make sure you check it out. Uh, but I ran a half marathon uh, to yesterday. Yesterday, oh my goodness, that was yesterday. And I feel fantastic for it. Go run a half marathon if you're out there watching this. Just kidding, you should probably train for that, otherwise you're gonna hurt yourself. But train for a half marathon and then go run a half marathon if you're watching this. Um, so yes, I am here uh, and I am especially excited because there has been a hubbub about my item today. A big ol' hubbub. Everybody is talking about this item. I got it sent to me originally uh, by Pizza Guy himself, Pizza.ob. Uh, I believe he was the first one that sent it to me. Um, and then just the, it has taken the world by storm. Everybody is talking about this. The Dr. Pepper Float Bluebell. What's more Texan than that? I don't know. I'm not a native Texan. I, I don't really know what goes on here. They don't, they don't invite me to the meetings because I'm not native, you know. I, I, need to, uh, I need to be in Texas a couple more years for them to start inviting me. But, uh, but yes, Bluebell, Dr. Pepper, staples of Texas, staples of the South, um, Dr. Pepper floats. So this is uh, a Bluebell ice cream. It's vanilla flavored ice cream with a Dr. Pepper flavored sherbet swirl. Or I guess sherbet? You know, I've always thought it was Sherbert. And maybe on some it is, but if you look there, there's no R. So is it Sherbet? Hmm. Our creamy vanilla flavored ice cream swirled together with a Dr. Pepper flavored Sherbet. Uh, two iconic brands, one delicious ice cream float. Uh, made with loving care uh, by Bluebell Creameries in Brenham, Texas. Uh, we were just near there, actually, I think. I think. I think. I don't know, I don't know geography. There are three servings per container in this bad boy. Uh, 170 servings per container, or per serving, per container is 510. Could you imagine they make ice cream that's 170 for the whole dang thing? You'd be rich if you made it taste good, I guess. Let's go ahead and pop this bad boy open here. Now, if you know me, you know that I'm not a big fan of colas. I'm not a really big cola guy, but I will say, of all the colas I've had, Dr. Pepper has been the one that's managed to uh, win me over here. So here you go. Oh, it's a very pretty looking ice cream. It reminds me, the texture on the top here, it kind of reminds me of those uh, those slushy cup commercials where you'd like shake it up and then it would become a slushy. Y'all remember those, y'all remember those, you know. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah, Dr. Pepper, I don't know, I'm kind of on the fence about it. I like it more than other colas, but it's still not my favorite thing to drink. But I do like ice cream a good bit. In fact, I've actually been craving ice cream for a while. Uh, I don't know, maybe maybe it was the half marathon, maybe it's something else, but I've been, I've been thinking, I've had ice cream on the mind. Um, but yes, uh, it should be pretty good. I did like, I like Dr. Pepper's, Dr. Pepper, I like Whataburger's Dr. Pepper shake a lot. So if this is similar to that, then we've got a winner. I mean, we've got a winner right there. So, uh, so let's see if we get that cherry, that cola, and that vanilla working together for something delicious. And we will, uh, I guess I was about to cheers there, but I'm not gonna just like lick it off the top here. So, cheers. <laughs> oh. Oh my, mm, oh my. I think this, I also didn't say, I guess, I was gonna say I think this is a Texas exclusive. I think Bluebell is a Texas exclusive. Maybe some of the surrounding states, like maybe Oklahoma has it. They kinda, they kinda copy Texas a little bit. Uh, so they might have some, maybe, I doubt Louisiana has it. Maybe some parts of Louisiana, but maybe some, I don't know. 
but uh, but yeah, I believe this is overall a Texas exclusive. Maybe maybe some other states you can get it. I gotta say, this was yummy. I'm gonna take another bite here. You know what? I'm just gonna eat this top layer in silence, and then I'll reconvene. All right, we're gonna stop our taste test there. That doesn't mean I'm done eating. That means I'm going to talk for a bit. Um, and in fact, because I'm going to talk for a bit without eating this, I'm gonna take a quick cut in the video uh, so I can go put this in the freezer because I don't want it to melt on me. So uh, we will be right back. We're back. Uh, so yeah, I, uh, I went ahead and put the ice cream away. I didn't want it to melt up because what you're about to hear is that this ice cream pretty dang good. I will say it's got, it does have kind of a cola sense to it, but I think the cherry is what comes through more um, because that is that is one of the 23 flavors of Dr. Pepper. Um, I, I do taste the cola, but I think the cola works really well actually with the vanilla to kind of create that creamy, beautiful flavor. Um, now, I'm going to say something and people may disagree here. There's a bit of an aftertaste. And it kind of has the aftertaste of, um, <laughs> look at that spoon. <laughs> that's really good. That's a, that's a really good reflection. Sorry. Um, it kind of has the aftertaste of how a children's hospital smells. Now, to me, that's a bad taste. Um, and it's kind of still sitting in my mouth to this moment. But it doesn't, it's not as terrible as that scent would be, per se. Uh, I really don't know how to describe it, but there's always just a certain scent to, uh, to these things. Um, but yeah, I, uh, hmm. I gotta say, I like the flavor. I like the texture. I think it's a very nice, I mean, it's Bluebell, so of course it's a nicely made ice cream. I think it's flavored well, and I think the cola and the vanilla works together with a way in which, uh, like, cola does not work for me uh, to begin with. So I, I think the pairing of the two actually brings together a new flavor here. But that aftertaste, it's not as strong as I maybe described it as, but... It's still not very good. Um, I, I do have a little bit of a problem with that, but I think overall the taste is very nice. It's very yummy. Um, and I, I think it's a good ice cream and I think I'd get it again. So if I had to rate it on a scale of one to 10, I think I'd give this item, <laughs> you know what I'm doing here. Mm, I don't think it's gonna work. I think it's too slicked up since I've already used it. Oh, I shouldn't put this spoon on my nose. What am I doing? I already used this thing. Um, that's a terrible idea. Uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry, you just watched it all. Um, but yes, I think I'd give this, uh, uh, I think I'd give it like a, a 7.9 out of 10. I think it's good uh, that Aftertaste just kind of cuts it down a lot, but I do think the initial taste is really good And I think the flavors blend together very nicely to create something new um, So that's kind of my general thoughts on it. Uh, if you liked this video, go ahead and drop that like if you didn't like this video It's okay to drop that dislike, but let me know what you didn't like if you're like Coleman Why are you putting a spoon on your nose? I'd be like well it would be really funny if it works. It just didn't work this time 
Uh, but let me know what you didn't like about these videos so I can make them better for you. Uh, if you want to see more of my content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified of whatever I post, whatever it is, be the first one there. All that good stuff. Make sure you ring that little dinger bell. Ding. Just like that. And YouTube will send you a post of whatever I post, whatever it is. You'll be the first one there. You can comment first. All that good stuff. If you look in the description, you'll find links to the Coco's Create Instagram. I draw my spoon. Coco's Create TikTok and Coco's Create Twitter. We're posting little updates, little, little Coco's uh, quick hits, lots of stuff on there. So if you're interested in a little extra Coco's content, make sure you check those out. And with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!